some bites let's just bring them in what kind of bites were they though were they the kind we were looking for one more time to switch it up this is oversized hazardon might be good for the lakes i don't know about here seven feet of water 61 is the temperature i think i'm probably getting bites just think since my hook might be gone too deep into it i think the concept was right in the beginning yeah, but we made it out to Mossdale Landing Recreational Park. And we've been out here for uh, maybe like about no more than 20, 30 minutes. Just checking out the environment. Uh, this is a completely new area for us to the Delta. And I'm sure just like any other section of the Delta, you know, you got to get acclimated to your conditions here. Find out where your structure is. But, uh... I'm hoping that today we'll go ahead and land a whole bunch. I feel pretty confident that it's going to be a good one. Especially because this area has shown to have a lot of promising activity. So I'm using the owner one aught mosquito hook. And this thing is really thin. I thought it was going to be a little bit more beefier. But there we go. We had a bite. All right. If that ain't stinky, then you know what it is. It's really nice out here, though. Okay. Have a nice little spot. I was about, so I definitely want to hang out there. Good man, how are you? Good. Nothing, how about you? Mark, how you doing, man? How'd it go for you today? I caught on three. Three? Nice. I lost one. One came off. Okay. How about you? Uh, no, man. I got bites and missed them. So, uh, Hector ended up catching like a 17, and then he was just working his way slowly over here. Nice. What are you catching with? Uh, he's actually using a uh, D-bomb. Yeah, try that boat. Because I know um, on Fish Brain, they have a lot of catches right there. Yeah, this place is all new to me, man. It's, re it's really nice. Let's see what this is about. Give me luck. Give me strength. Oh Lord. Where you go? Oh man, finally. <sighs> Took all day. <laughs> well he's been caught before too. Nice. Uh yeah, this one'll keep.
are. I gotta get him to close his mouth to get that picture. Yeah, this... He's got a problem. His mouth won't stay closed. Like I broke it or something. <laughs> All right, bud. Awesome. Yep. Good old Delta. Release me. Not a big one, but she'll do. Does it do 12 inches? Let's see. I don't even know if it's 12 inches. I don't know. Here. Get some air. Get some oxygen, buddy. Does it make it? Oh, no. No. Not a foot. All right. Why you do that? There. Really, really good. I'm quite shocked of how well this thing is doing. Big shout out to Mark for this one. So when you were when you were by the rocks, they wanted more activity, right? Yeah, look at this, dude. I just tied on that worm you gave me, and it's already getting hit. Dude, I told you that shit's it's stupid. Yeah. You could try it over there by them rocks. Yeah, let me give it a shot. <laughs> so these are the guys on the map uh, get some right on the nose too see. do you count bud nope you don't count all right i'll let you go uh, a new friend of mine a fellow kayaker by the name of mark Cordero. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me out there it was an awesome experience getting a chance to see a different part of the delta as you know the delta is a fairly wide area and there's not much area you can cover unless you got a motor um, it's a very vast environment so on that day i will highlight in this video that i did have an issue with uh my steering system so on the native titan I had an aftermarket next level design handle, which is a very solid handle. I only wish that they had the assembly part for the bottom end of it to hold up to this too. Um, the reason I wish this came with a bottom assembly, as you'll see in these pictures here, mine failed. So after a grueling nine hours worth of uh, pedaling, I still got on the board. Uh, yeah, the water was uh, at that part of the delta was it's not very nice. It looked like someone took a number two on it. But either way, I got one on the board. I caught two small ones. It's okay, it happens. Um, got a chance to explore a new area of the delta. And big shout out to Mark Corrado Fardero, I think I'm saying it right, Mark Fardero, for uh, hooking me up with the finesse little drop shots and uh, some of the uh, mule jigs. I'll definitely be looking forward to using those and put them on the right setup. But also a big shout out too to my buddy Phil for coming out with me. Um, Phil is a hardcore fisherman. He loves to go ahead and dissect every specific area. He was on the board and he caught probably a 16 or 17 inch fish i'll put the pictures here you can see them and unfortunately i wasn't able there to weigh it but judging by the pictures itself it looks like it was a nice healthy fish but yeah that wraps it up for week four of fishing out on the weekly challenge for bass masters california bass masters cast 
California Bass Nation. That's the nice thing about editing. But yeah, so I'm celebrating now with uh, some fast food and uh, Mickey D's and looking forward to getting back home and get a chance to relax, come out to do it again. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to join. No. Make sure to. Yeah, make sure, please, by all means. Even if you don't have people who like to fish, just share it. It helps me out. All right, have a good one. Thanks. Share like and 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 share